today we're going to be painting four trees and they're going to represent the four seasons. So the first step we want to do is take our piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half. And when you're folding your paper in half, it's really important that you make sure that the edges and the corners meet up nice and even Stevens as best as you can. Hold with one hand and press down on the fold with the other. And you wanna do this on a hard surface, like a table, um, to make it easier for the folding. If you're trying to do it on your lap, it's really hard. Then open it up and you're going to fold in half the other way, doing the same exact thing, making sure that your edges and your corners meet up. Hold with one hand and press down on the fold with the other. So when you open it up, you've got four small rectangles on your paper. Now I'm gonna be painting a tree trunk and some branches in each of these four rectangles. I'm gonna be using tempera paint, but if you have watercolor paints or crayons or oil pastels at home or markers, you can use any of those mediums. It doesn't have to be this kind of paint. The only important thing here is that you have drawn or colored or painted in a tree trunk with some branches. Okay, here I go. All right, before you do the next step, make sure that your trees are almost 100% dry. If they're not, set this aside, do a dance break or a sketchbook activity while you're waiting. If you try and start painting and adding details to these trees before they're dry, the brown paint is gonna muddy up the rest of your colors. So the colors you'll need once your trees are dry are green, yellow, orange, red, blue, and white. So we're gonna start with our first season right here. I'm gonna start with the season of fall or autumn. And we're gonna illustrate leaves on a tree for autumn or fall. So can you think of some colors of the leaves that you could illustrate on this tree for fall? Feel free to pause the video and talk about it. So we wanna use yellow, orange, red, and maybe some green to illustrate the leaves on this tree. You wanna paint some leaves on the tree and some that fall down. I'm gonna start doing mine right now. Okay, now that my autumn tree is done, I've illustrated the leaves and bright fall autumn colors, and I even included some down here on the ground, I'm gonna to move to the next season. So what is the season that happens after fall? You can pause the video here and talk about it, but the next season after fall is winter. So what are some colors or things we could do to illustrate that this tree is happening during winter? You can pause the video and talk about it at home or we're gonna talk about it right now. So there aren't gonna be any leaves on this tree and we wanna illustrate that it's winter by including snow and we're gonna be using the colors white and blue to do this. And I'm going to show you the example right now. Don't forget if your water is getting really dirty, it's okay to go clean it out and get new water. So now that my winter tree is illustrated with lots of snow on the branches and down below to show that it's winter, I'm moving on to the next season. So the next season after winter is, and you can pause the video and talk about it here, but the next season is spring. So there are going to be some leaves on this tree. We're gonna include yellow in our leaf color to show that they're new leaves. And we can also add some flowers to this tree, mixing red and white to make pink. There'll also be some green grass down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna get started right now. Here's my spring tree. So I've included some green grass at the bottom and I mixed in yellow to make it more of a lime green vibrant color. I've included green and yellow leaves and I mixed red and white for pink for flowers. So the last season that we haven't illustrated yet is the season that comes after spring. You can pause the video here to talk about it at home, but the next season is summer. 
So how are we gonna illustrate summer on this tree? Well, we're gonna be adding lots of green leaves to the tree and we're gonna be putting green grass at the bottom. I'm gonna be mixing white into my green to show you how to add a second color of green to this tree. And I'm gonna start right now. Okay, I am done with my summer tree. I've mixed white into the green, so I get two different colors of green leaves and I painted the grass green. I hope you enjoyed this project, artist. I can't wait to see your four season trees. I'll see you next time. Bye.